Hey guys, and welcome back to Double Thrill. I'm John Calvin, and this is episode 5 of the Escape uh, Let's Play The Escapist. As you remember last time, our plans got foiled. I got all the way to the fence. I sort of nearly got through it, and uh, I got caught out. And uh, we lost everything. We got sent sort of. We're, we're back to back to the start again when it comes to plans but you know we've got something coming together again as you can see I've got the wall down to 10% I'm gonna go and take another little look at the fence to see what that's at I've got a load of forks as well here so the plans coming back together and hopefully the scape is still a reality let's have a look what this fence is at okay the fence is still at 25% as you can see we get shot there okay let's leave that fence now at 10% because that could be our escape. Okay, we've got Wolverine on us. I hate to do this, but I might just fight with him like for now because, I mean, hopefully we should be out of here very soon. I mean, I know I said that last time, but... Looks like Wolverine got Teddy back that we stole off him. Let's take it again and flush it down the toilet. Here's a little leaving present for you, Wolverine. Say goodbye to Teddy. I've become quite callous since I've been in prison. Quite cruel, sort of shanking people and... Flushing their teddy bears down the toilet. Prison's really changed me. I used to be a good man. I used to be Tom Crow. I'm innocent, goddammit. I'm gonna prove my uh, I'm gonna prove my innocence anyway when I get out of prison. I'm gonna get that opportunity. I'm coming for you, babe. Right, what are we up to now anyway? Morning free period. I mean like I say, I'm so focused on escaping now, I'm just not engaging with any kind of prison routine. Should we check out if anyone wants to come and visit me? Let's have a look. Move it down. Who's this? Oh, it's, it's, it's our lady, isn't it? Hey, babe, don't worry, I'll be out soon. <laughs> you look a mess. <laughs> Tell me about it, I feel like a mess. You don't know the half of it. The parrot escaped, well... Maybe I'll be escaping soon. Oh, here you go. What are you going to tell me? I've started seeing Bob down the road or something. Like, oh, great. I brought a new hat. Is it a trilby? Oh, there's something else. Wait, okay, let's hold off on lunch. I'm going to be famous. Hey, we could be in the morning. I'm going to get out of here soon. Doing what, though? This isn't this sort of X-rated. Have fun. Have fun? Where do you think I am? Bucklins. Okay, cool. Let's go. Let's get to lunch. I'm trying to think if we've got the stuff we need to escape now. I mean, that fence is at 10%, so I mean, this could really work out for us. It's in the car. Yeah, nothing useful. Let's grab a food tray. Okay, we missed lunch. That shouldn't be. What's this work? Ah, we don't work anymore, so yeah, we're jobless. Let's get Dan up our case. Let's fight with Dan. Get out of here, Dan. Alright, should we try and put our poster up, do you think? Get that ready. Looks like we've got more than enough forks. Check no one's coming. Right, let's set that in place. There's the poster. Now, if you look in our toilet, we have the uniform, which I'm going to stick on when I get outside. I'm going to set up the sheets. I'm going to set up the bed decoy. I'm going to run up through here, and I'm going to cut through that last bit of fence. Oh, it's so close. I can taste it. I can't believe we failed last time. It was so close. But that guard uniform should make a massive difference, because last time I got sore by a guard. This time... It sh it, when, when they see me, it shouldn't matter because I'm in a guard's uniform, so... Uh, what should we do now? I mean, should we go and sit in the sun lounges? Like I say, I ain't really engaging anymore, so we could go and search... I suppose we could go through some people's cells just for just for kicks. See what they got. Nothing useful, we'll see if there's anything in this toilet. Uh, there's other places, I mean, you can hide stuff, I mean... You can do, you can do pretty crazy stuff, like... Let's pick this up. Put that down, and now you can climb on top of it. Look, and you can, uh, you can, as far as I know, you can cut your way through these. There you go. Look, can you see. So you can cut your way into the sort of ventilation systems, which is pretty cool. I'll just leave his desk there. No worries. Uh, exercise period. Okay. Let's cut through the showers. Sticking to the treadmill at the minute because I feel like this is where it's going to help me escape. I need that speed. Looks like my guard heat's going down from exercise. Now that's useful. That's useful to know. So tonight could be the night. 
Alright, let's get off. Wolverine, you got anything? Nope. That's a good job as well. You can get the metal worker job if you've got enough intellect. Which can also be pretty handy for making tools and stuff. So let's see if we can just lay low now until the uh, lights out. Just double check we've got enough uh, materials to sort of get out of here. Hopefully, what, what really messed things up as well last time was we got put on the search list, so they come and search our room. Which is a bit odd, because he came in, the bed decoy worked and the poster worked, and it just removed the sheets from across the bar, so that was a bit weird, but it seemed to work. Right, let's try and get into dinner with no drama. Pick up a tray, let's just sit somewhere out of the way. As you can see, not only do the prisoners hate me, the guards hate me as well. So I really need to... I think the guards uniform thing's really smart though, because I think that could help big time. My uh, laundry job helped me to get that. As you can see, there's a lot of fights going on between other people at the minute, so maybe the heat's slightly off me. I'm just going to try and stick to the schedule, not erase any sort of suspicion. I'm going to try and keep that at complete zero. Okay, here we go. Ah, uh, free period now. I'm trying to think what to do for this free period. I look down on me here. So make a phone call. Let's just beat Dan up. I've become pretty hard since I've been in prison. Right, let's try this phone call thing. Buy a tip. Right, let's buy it. Use the crafting system to create. What does that say? Padded inmates outfit with these elements. Blue book inmate outfit duct tape. Oh, I guess that's so you can take a bit more of a beating. That's pretty cool. Okay, so there you go, we've got the tips. Show a moment on the Sun Lounger. Let's go and check our supplies actually. Okay, so we need five forks to get through the wall. Two, three, we've got plenty. As far as I know, the fence should be set to go. Let's just go and check. Yeah, that, that bit of fence there is at 10%. Oh man, this could be it. So what we'll do when it comes to night, we'll set the bed decoy up, we'll put the sheets, as long as they don't get searched, we'll put the sheets over the bars, then I'll remove the poster, put this little section of wall back, and then um, yeah, and then dig through the next bit of wall. So let's stick this other knife back. Might need the chocolate to get the stamina back. Take those, but let's put one back. Yeah. And then the guard's uniform I'll put on when I'm ready to cut through the fence. Oh man, I'm excited. This could work. What should we do? Should we go and look? Try and get on the guard's good side. Ah, oh, there's no jobs. I don't know what to do now. I'm just kind of dossing about. Like, oh, okay, just wait for roll call. Do some weights while we wait. Oh great, it's Wolverine, isn't it? What's this sucker one? Oh god, has he been working out? He's pretty tough now. There you go, we got him. Oh god, I was gonna say not Dan Start now as well. Oh look, you can hide stuff here. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Okay, it's getting dark now. Please, fingers crossed, just go right. I've yet to escape, like I said, in this game. I'm, this is going to be my first escape. So it's all just got to go right. Right, is that roll call? Yeah, here we go. It's lined straight up front and centre. Not looking to cause any hassle. Right, please do not call my name now. Plans for the hot tub are looking good. I might be missing air by the looks of it. I'll have all the hot tubs I can handle soon though when I'm back on the outside. Right, the following pier. Right, yes, we're not getting searched tonight. That makes a big difference. Okay, right, we can just get straight on with this really. 
Right. Let's look what we want to do and what order we want to do this. Let's take that bed decoy. Let's set that up. Let's start putting our sheets up. Let's grab our uniform. All right, we've got that on. Let's put that in there. Uh, that section of wall we aren't really going to need, are we? So let's take the poster down. Put the poster back. Right now, this is where we're going to dig through. Oh man, this is going so good so far. Oh, if, if, I mean, literally, if I get caught out again, oh crap, there's a guy in there. Why the hell did he just come into my cell like that? It looked like everything was really convincing, but I think he just come and took down the sheets. But the poster and the bed dummy seemed to work. Okay, so we basically got away with that there. So close, just getting through that fence and that now, right. Let's take this poster down. Put it back up. Uh, no, yeah, right, let's pull that back up. If he sees me in a guard's uniform, obviously, that's going to arouse suspicion straight away. Right, I should just need two knives. And, okay, I think this is it. I think I'm set to, to go. Goodbye, Sal. You know, it's been it's been good times. Right, let's pick this up. Let's uh, set this back. So nobody notices. Now let's dig through. Right, that guard's just been through, so we should be able to dig straight. Oh, God, I thought someone was coming in the right go. Let's go for the fence. Oh, I think we've opened it. Come on, yes! I'm free! <laughs> oh, man, I think I made it. Is that the guards chasing me? There you go, guys. I finally escaped my first prison. What? Did they catch me? You, oh no, you escaped. There you go, you escaped center perks. God. Ah, oh, well. There you go, guys. I finally got out. Thanks for sticking with me. We escaped the easiest prison in the game. Hey. Right, let's have a look what we've got. I don't know what this player stats. 160 is that good? I don't know. I don't think it is. We've got a bit of bad behavior there. About equal good bad behavior. Like I say, we came in pretty hot, but we chilled out afterwards. And there's my overall score. Not too bad, I don't think. Well, that's it. I sort of feel like I've accomplished something there. I know now if I ever get locked up, I might even actually have a chance of escaping prison. But thanks for watching, guys. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed, enjoyed this because I will be doing some more Let's Play videos. Maybe not The Escapist. I might move on to some other stuff now. But if you've got any suggestions, put it in the comments below if you want me to play any certain games. Uh, so thanks very much, guys. Like and subscribe, like I said. And this has been Double Thrill. See you later, guys. Bye.